everyone. I'm Melissa here and welcome to your Melissa moment. Hello everyone. Melissa here. Welcome to your Melissa moment and welcome to miscellaneous Monday. We have a value village hall today. Now, if you've been watching me for a while, you know, I'm a bit of a shopaholic. I had a strategy and that was only to go to Value Village once a month. And as always, had to use a coupon if I was going to buy anything. On top of that, donate something. That's my rules. And I've been doing really good at sticking to those rules. However, I went to Value Village twice twice in the month. Um, here's what happened. Went to Value Village, you probably saw the haul recently, and then literally the next day, my friend messaged me saying, hey, did you get this email? And it was from Value Village. And the email was about National Thrifting Day with an attached coupon that gave you $15 off of a $40 or more purchase. Uh, yes, please. Now, I'm not sure why I never received the email. I don't know why. I'm part of their club. I have gotten emails from them in the past, but for some reason I did not get this email. I even checked my junk mail. It wasn't there, which was odd because I go to Value Village a lot and I buy stuff there a lot. My friend, she goes there a lot too, but she doesn't buy as much as I do. So that's the only thing I can think of is maybe they sent these coupons out to their customers that don't buy much, hoping those customers will go in and buy more. That's the only thing I can come up with. But Lucky for me, I have a good friend and she shared the coupon with me. So I'm like, you know what? I had an appointment very close to Value Village. I'm like, I know I was just there, but they do put out new stuff every day. Let's just go and do a quick little check. Let's just do a quick check. Maybe I'll find stuff. Maybe I won't. Who knows? I found stuff. Now, interestingly enough, last time I did a haul, it was mostly books and games. And that's typically what I buy there. Um, I did not find any books or games this time. I was like, okay. But, well, I shouldn't say that. It kind of goes with games. The first thing I found, I've actually been looking for one of these for a while. And I've been looking at garage sales, like all that kind of stuff, and I have not come across one. It's an automatic card shuffler. Okay? Automatic card shuffler. Um, I've been looking for one of these for a while. This is going to sound funny. But my husband and I, we haven't played it in a while. We have played a game called Canasta. And if you've ever played Canasta, there's a lot of cards. Like it's a very large deck. And last time we played, or a couple times ago, when I shuffled the cards, I actually hurt my thumb. This sounds funny, but it's true. Um, so I'm like, oh, I just, I can't shuffle this many cards anymore. And my husband made the comment, we should get one of those automatic shufflers. And ever since then, I have been looking for an automatic card shuffler, and I finally found one. And I was actually really happy with the price, because it was only $3.99. I'm like, that's a pretty decent price. Now, does it work? I don't know. I assume this is going to need batteries. I don't want to break my nails, but I assume it's going to need batteries. I mean, I, I don't know, like, do these things break often? I don't know. But it looks in good condition. I've never actually used an automatic card shuffler, so I'm not really sure how it works. But we have one, so we will try one, and hopefully it's good. So that was the very first thing I found. So the card shuffler. Second thing I found, again, I've been thinking about getting one for a while, but I wasn't sure. I actually even had one like in my Amazon cart and I had one on Timu, but this one I saw and I'm like, okay, the price is good. I'm just going to get it here. It's a balloon buddy. 
it's an inflator for balloons. Um, it's electric. So basically, it, it is only air, though. It's not helium. But instead of blowing up balloons for parties and whatnot, you just attach it to this. There's instructions in here. There's additional sized nozzles in here. Um, this is what it looks like. It's fairly small. You just plug it in. And then when once it's plugged in, you put your balloon on here and you push down and it fills it with air. So I've been wanting to get one for a while. There's a few different types. This one has little feet, so it suction cups down, which is kind of nice. But it's got different attachments for different size balloons and whatnot. And I'm like, you know, this is really good. Like, do I use balloons a lot? Not a lot. However, sometimes it comes in handy. Actually, we had um, a party for a friend of ours, and another friend of mine, she had one of these. It was a little different, but same idea, and we used it, and ever since then, I'm like, that's a good idea. I should get one of those. So again, price was right, $4.99. So I'm like, yep, I tried it there. They have a little station for you to try things. I'm like, yep, it works. It's five bucks. Even at Timu, they were more than that. I'm like, I don't think I'm going to find one cheaper. So in the cart, it went. That's the other thing with Value Village. What I like to do is if I find something that I like, I put it in the cart, just in the cart, because you never know, right? You don't want to leave it on the shelf because someone else will come buy it. And if you change your mind, it'll be gone. I put everything in the cart that I definitely want or I'm thinking about or I like. I shop the whole store. And then when I'm done, I look at everything in my cart again, and I make choices. So I'm like, you know what? I like it. I'm just going to put it in the cart. If I end up at the end of this having enough, like $40 worth of stuff, then I can use that coupon and we're good. So that was the plan. Then I found this. It's a Melissa and Doug stamp set. Now, I have got quite a few stamps. My daughter loves doing crafts and stamps. I just, it's not that I don't like doing it. I am also a crafter, but it makes such a mess, especially when you're dealing with ink and stuff. I think I'm going to set up like a table in the basement because the basement, I don't care if things get wrecked and we can do crafts in the basement. I think that's what we're going to end up doing because I have a beautiful brand new white marble table and I don't want this thing getting ink on it and stuff like that. But I found this. Um, it's brand new in package. Now, it does have ink. I'm fully expecting the ink to be dried out. I'm fully expecting that. Not a big deal. I can go buy more ink pads. Not a big deal. Um, but it's brand new. It, again, $4.49. Like, that seems to be the price of most things I bought today. It was like $4.49. I don't know if there was one person pricing things one day where everything they priced was just $4.49. I don't know. Um, but that's what it was. This was originally from Winners or HomeSense or whatnot. The price has been taken off. I guarantee you, though, it was way more than $4.49 because it's Melissa and Doug Brands and their stuff is not cheap. Um, but it's got some cute ones like, happy birthday. I love you. You're the best. Good luck. Congratulations. Thank you. I miss you. Get well soon. It's party time. Best friends forever. There's some really cute little stamps in there. So I'm like, that's a cute one. So I picked that up. Okay. Then I came across this. And yes, I have a plan for it. Number one, I like the look of it. Um, okay, here it is. Okay. So this is like the front. This is the side, so it's an organizer, okay? Um, I don't know if it really comes across on camera, but it is like a very light pastel pink with white, okay? The other side is the same. It does have a bit of an imperfection here, but I don't care. That can be the back or the whatever, like who cares? Um, but this is it. Again, it has, you guys, the original price on here. Again, it's from HomeSense. 25 bucks was the original price. They had it marked for 449. 
like, again, I'm happy with that. Um, and they actually had two, the exact same. And this one was also $4.49 with the original winner's or home sense tag of 25 bucks on there. This one does not have any imperfections. This one is like in perfect condition. Um, but I bought this. So if you're wondering, Melissa, what do you need those for? Well, here's why I wanted these. Um, like I said, I've been working on the basement, trying to get it clean and organized. I have noticed a few things. Number one, I have a ton of party supplies. Number two, I have a ton of craft supplies in the basement. And I have lots of paper craft supplies, like all different colors of construction paper, right? Um, and I'm like, these will be perfect because I can actually organize it and put like, here's pink construction paper, here's red, here's blue, here's yellow, here's green, right? and then it's all organized. I like to be organized. And I can set these on top of the little rolling uh, organizing carts I have down there, and that's where I can keep like all of the paper and whatnot. And then it's easy to see, it's easy to grab, it's easy to keep clean, because my daughter, we've got construction paper, but all the colors get messed up and it's they all fall over, it's, it's a mess. So anything that will help me keep things organized? Yes, please. So I put those in the cart, obviously I bought them. Um, I don't typically look at the clothes, okay? I don't typically look at the clothes. However, I was getting toward the end and I didn't have 40 bucks in my cart yet. And I'm like, you know what? Let's just look at the clothes. But I wanted to look at the clothes I could try on. So I did um, go to like the jackets and like the, you know, pullovers and all that kind of stuff. And I did find one. Now, this is a little bit more than I would have spent. Um, but I picked it up anyway. It's just basic black because that seems to be what I'm doing now. And it's, it's literally a pullover, okay? It's just... A pullover you can see it's got this really cute design on the side though on both sides this little kind of tie up okay it's on both sides I thought it was cute it's a hoodie now like I said it's a little more than I would have spent uh, 949 I've noticed too 49 seems to be what they're ending their prices in it used to be 99 but now it's like 49 I don't know um, the reason I say it's a little pricey is because it's Warehouse One. Warehouse One clothes typically is not that expensive and they always have sales. Um, so who knows? But I did try this on in the store. Um, I did like how it looked and stuff. So I'm like, yeah, you know what? In the cart it goes. So I picked that up for clothes. The last thing. This was a score. Scentsy. You guys, it's Scentsy. Inbox. That doesn't happen that often. I've seen Scentsy there before. Not usually in box. And I've mentioned in my Value Village thrifting videos before, if you find something in box, it's usually good. Because number one, it's either brand new, or, that's just my ice maker, or number two, they take good care of their stuff. Because who's going to keep a box? You know what I mean? Um, so the box itself is a little bit kind of smushed in the corner. Um, does it have... Now, this one, they had it marked for $15.99. $16. Which sounds expensive, but not for Scentsy. This is a full-size Scentsy warmer. Most Scentsy warmers, full size, I think they start at like 30, maybe even more, $40 a warmer. Um, so 16 bucks, pretty good deal. Now, I'm not familiar with this one. It's called a cord, and it says it's gray. So this is what it looks like. Um, I'm not familiar, so I'm assuming it's an older warmer. I'm just going to look it up and see if I can find a year or anything. A cord warmer Scentsy. Holy. Okay. Wow. Um, you guys. It's just my ice maker. So 
it says, now this is a Canadian site. I don't believe it's available right now, but it has the price. You guys, I don't know if you can see that. $72? $72. You guys. Uh, oh, here. Here's a picture of it in a catalog. So this was definitely way before me. Um, it is out of stock everywhere, so it's not available. But I'm trying to see if it says what year this catalog was. This is this is obviously old because I don't know. I don't know. Um, but it looks like it was available in different colors. I see a white one. I see a gray one. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, interesting. Now, I like gray because my house right now is everything like gray and white. So it will, um, oops, it will suit my decor. However, this specific warmer is what they call a element warmer. So it's not light bulbs. Sensi usually uses light bulbs, which warms the wax, which is why it melts, and it gives off a light of some sort. And they have element warmers, which is what this one is. So it's actually got a heating element in the warmer. So pros, no light bulbs. That's a good pro. Cons, there's no light to it. It doesn't light up at all. It's just decorative, which isn't a bad thing. I just prefer the ones with the lights. Um, but just so you can see, like, there's the dishes. They look brand new to me, you guys. Usually you can tell if a dish has been used. These, these are brand new. You, can you see the sheen on there? Their wax has not touched these dishes. Wax has not touched these dishes. Here's the other thing. Look at the size of these dishes. They're huge. Now, normally on the dish, this is interesting. Normally, there's a number on the dish that tells you how many cubes you can put in a dish. There's no number on here. And it says authentic Sensi home. Interesting. Um, so there's three dishes. Ooh. It's a three dish warmer. Wow. So this is how you know it's an element warmer. They have this on them. So this part gets hot. This heats up. So your dish sits on here and then this heats up and that's what melts the wax. But this is it. So it's a little three kind of pedestal warmer. Hmm, interesting. Brand new. You guys, it's brand new. I'm just going to put the dishes on there so you can see what it looks like. Now, I don't know if I'm going to use this or if I'm going to gift this or if I'm just going to keep it. I don't know. I have one element warmer that I use in my living room. It's the little garden one. And it's not that I don't like it, but like I said, there's no light to it. So this is what it looks like when the dishes are on top. It's pretty. Like, it's it's just a basic gray. There's nothing, no, no real design to it, you know, or pattern or anything. It is pretty, though. And the nice thing is there's three dishes together. So you can either warm the same scent in three separate dishes, or this is a good way to mix and match. Like, I could put in one dish a apple scent, and another dish I could put a caramel scent. So you've got, like, caramel apple going on, um, you know, and you could put, like, another apple over here if you want the apple stronger or the caramel stronger. You, there's lots of options with it, but it's just a really pretty basic, you know, warmer. 
Um, it looks like each dish also has an on off button. Each dish. So if you don't want all three dishes on, maybe that makes the scent too strong, then you can just have one dish on or two dishes on, or you could have all three on. That's kind of nice. It's not very often that I've seen a warmer that has separate dishes. I don't know if I actually have ever seen a warmer with separate dishes. Have I? Do I have any? I don't think so, but it's pretty. I'm not mad at it. And the fact that I paid $16 and it was 72, I'm happy about that. Um, so that's everything I got today from Value Village. So I was able to use the coupon that my friend gave me. So everything you saw cost me a total of $34.58. Less than 35 bucks for everything. And that warmer was $72 original price just for that warmer. That was a pretty good Value Village haul. I gotta say, I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, wow. Does it, I'm trying to see if it has on here what I saved. Um, it doesn't show what I saved. Well, it shows, well, I got $15 off. So I got $15 off, which is better than using the 20% off coupon because if I had used the 20% off coupon, I would not have gotten that much off. So I got close to 40% off. That's pretty good. So yeah, that was my little value village haul. I'm happy with that. Um, I'm really happy with the Sensi warmer. I really like it. And like I said, look for things in boxes. And the nice thing is with things like Sensi, I'm very familiar with their boxes. So I'm like, that's a Sensi box. I'm going to look at it. Um, so this is an interesting warmer. I like it. I think I like it. I'm going to have to find a place to put it. I'm just not sure where. I, my first thought is, ooh, I want to put it in my kitchen. But I don't really have any counter space in my kitchen. Um, you know, oh, I've got the perfect place. Here's the issue. I don't actually have a plug-in. I've got a shoe cabinet that's very tall and at one point I did have a Scentsy warmer on there with the cord running to the plug which is like six feet away um, because we had a couch there and it covered the cord but then since we've renovated it's all open so you would see the cord but maybe I could get an electrician to put a plug in and this would be beautiful right on top of that shoe cabinet. Ooh, you guys, I love when plans come together. Okay, I'm excited about that. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know, did you get that Value Village coupon if you're a member of Value Village? Because I'm still curious why I didn't get one. I feel left out. Like, I'm glad my, my friend shared with me, but like, I should have gotten that coupon. I go there a lot. Anyway, doesn't matter. Thanks so much for watching. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. I hope you're having a great day. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.